8. Practical Network CMD Commands Used to diagnose, configure, and troubleshoot network issues effectively on a Windows computer. Type CMD in the search bar and run command prompt as an administrator. The path ping command combines the functionality of ping and trusset to provide information about network latency and packet loss. Type path ping followed by the host name or IP address. The path ping command is a network utility in Windows that provides information about the root and network latency between your computer and the target host, combining features of both ping and trusset. It is useful for diagnosing network issues, as it does not only show the route like transit, but also provides detailed information about packet loss at each hop. The root command displays and modifies the local IP routing table. To display the current routing table, use root print. This command will list the routes currently known to your system, showing information like network destinations, subnet mask, gateways, interface numbers, and metrics. By analyzing the routing table, you can determine if there are incorrect or missing routes that might be causing connectivity issues. The net start command displays active connections and listed imports. Type net start. This command is a powerful network tool in Windows used to display network connections, routing tables, interface statistics, masquerade connections, and multicast memberships. By examining active connections and listening ports, you can detect unauthorized connections or potentially malicious activity, such as unauthorized remote access. To display active connections and the process ID, type net start hyphen eno this displays the process id associated with each connection this allows you to identify which applications or services are using specific network connections facilitating better process and network management the net command is also a powerful command line scripting utility that allows you to display or modify the network configuration of a computer to view the IP configuration, type net interface IP show config. This command is used to display the IP configuration details of all network interfaces on a Windows machine. It provides comprehensive information about each interface, including IP addresses, subnet mask, default gateways, and DNS service. This helps in identifying incorrect or missing IP configurations that might be causing connectivity problems. For example, you can quickly see if an interface has an incorrect IP address or subnet mask. To reset the TCP or IP stack, type Nash INT IP reset. The command is used to reset the TCP slash IP stack on a Windows machine. This command can help resolve various network issues by restoring the TCP or IP stack to its default state. It can be particularly useful if you are experiencing connectivity problems such as issues with the DNS or static IP configurations. The net LAN show profile command displays wireless network profiles stored on the PC. Type net LAN show profile. This command allows you to easily view and manage the wireless network profiles stored on your Windows computer providing valuable information for troubleshooting and network configuration. Next, add firewall command configures Windows firewall settings. To display current firewall configuration, type net add firewall show all profiles.
This command provides detailed information about the Windows firewall settings for each profile, including domain, private, and public profiles. This helps in identifying misconfigurations or weakness in the firewall setup that could be exploited by malicious actors. The NSLOOKUP command is a network administration tool used for querying the domain name system to obtain domain name or IP address mapping. Type NSLOOKUP followed by the domain name or IP address you want to query. If a website is not reachable, use NSLOOKUP to verify if the DNS resolution is working. Using NSLOOKUP is an effective way to diagnose and troubleshoot DNS-related issues, verify DNS configurations, and ensure that domain name resolutions are functioning correctly. The ARP command displays and modifies the IP to physical address translation tables used by the address resolution protocol. Type ARP hyphen A. This is used to display the ARP cache on your local machine. The ARP cache contains mappings between IP addresses and their corresponding MAC addresses, which are used to facilitate communication on a local network. This command helps to troubleshoot and ensure efficient network communication. IP configuration command. This command will display a list of your network adapters and their current IP addresses, subnet mask, and default gateways. By combining IP configuration with other commands, you can effectively manage network interfaces, such as disabling and enabling them to resolve connectivity issues. For more detailed information, you can use the following switches with IP config. IP config slash all. This displays full details, including DHCP status, DNS service, and physical addresses. ipconfig slash flash DNS. This command flashes and resets the contents of the DNS client resolver cache. If a website is not loading, or it is displaying an old version, use ipconfig slash flash DNS to clear the DNS cache and force your system to retrieve fresh DNS information. Get MAC command. This displays the MAC address for each network adapter. By using the get MAC command, you can easily and effectively retrieve the MAC addresses of network adapters on your local or remote Windows machine. This is particularly useful for network management, security, and troubleshooting tasks, which plays an essential role for resolving issues related to hardware address conflicts or mismatches.